Welcome back to another edition of Azure Every Day. I'm Chris Zafirlis, Senior Architect over here at Pragmatic Works. And today we're going to discuss the newly announced public preview feature, uh, XMLA endpoints for Power BI, and really how they'll be beneficial to you, okay? Uh, so we all know that Power BI has this terrific modeling capability and users build their models as they begin to design their reports. However, we also know that even as we transition to Power BI into being our enterprise visualization and reporting tools, um, some of the legacy applications just aren't gonna go away, right? Um, many of those applications connect to XMLA endpoints from other semantic model providers. You know, so for instance, analysis services on your SQL on-prem, right? But so the team over at Power BI decided to give you the ability to do the same. Now, beyond the ability to connect to the XMLA endpoints with other analytical dashboarding tools, for instance, Tableau or, you know, something else, right? Uh, you can also connect to it from other tool sets that support XMLA. For instance, many of the Microsoft development tools give you the ability to connect as well, such as things like SQL Server Management Studio, SSMS, um, SQL Server Profiler, DAX Studio, and even from Excel pivot tables, just to name a few. But remember, it is only currently available for read access, so some of your capabilities will be limited. From a licensing perspective, access to the XMLA endpoints is available for uh, data sets in Power BI Premium only, but any user can, can connect to the endpoints uh, regardless if they have a, a pro license or not. The feature itself is turned on within the settings of the Power BI Premium tenant. Now it's only in preview, right? So that means it's not supported in production. Lastly, within the documentation provided by, by Microsoft, they're also planning to give a read write option in the near future. So in this scenario, other tools such as SQL Server Data Tools or uh, you know, those types where you can play with the model give you the availability to change your model with that familiar Visual Studio, right? And now you start to see a scenario where you can start to use GitHub repositories to manage your source control on the models amongst other uses, right? There's endless uses there. Now, I'm really impressed with the modular approach that the team over at Power BI is taking to really roll this out as a 100% enterprise class tool. First, we saw the data flows feature, with it, which extracts the ETL slash ELT process into its own lane. Uh, then things like composite models were introduced where you can have offline and online data sources. And now XML endpoints, <clears throat> which clearly defines three separate layers of development within the Power BI ecosystem. The commitment from the team to ever evolve and improve this product has uh, been excellent over the last few years, right? And I really look forward to see what they're going to roll out next because uh, this stuff has really opened some great avenues and uh, greatly spread user adoption. So, um, I hope you've enjoyed this video. Uh, if you have any questions with regard to Power BI or Microsoft Azure or anything data related, we're the ones to contact, right? So please uh, click the link below or give us a call. And otherwise, hope you have a great day and uh, thanks for watching. Take care.